guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today's video is going to be 10 facts about Gemini. So if that is what you came here for, that is what you're going to get. Really quickly before we begin, I would like to mention I do have my crystal pendants up in my Etsy shop. So if that is something that interests you guys, I'll leave the link below so you can go check that out. Also, if you guys are interested in booking a private intuitive reading with me or a birth chart analysis, I will have all the information below so you guys can go ahead and check that out as well. So Gemini is a mutable air sign and with these two qualities of Gemini, they are geniuses when it comes to speaking, when it comes to um, communicating, when it comes to developing ideas within the mind. All right, so fact number one, and I don't want to surprise any of you guys, but Geminis are extremely expressive. You guys are the social butterflies of the zodiac. You guys live primarily in your mind, and you guys are the natural communicators of the zodiac, as well as Virgo, because both of you guys are ruled by Mercury, but you guys express yourselves in very different ways. Geminis have a natural and continual need to express what's going on in their mind. You guys are the kind of people who, when you were younger or in school growing up, you probably got in trouble for passing notes to friends. You guys like to create to-do lists. Communicating on the phone is another big thing for Geminis. If you're not communicating with somebody in person, I feel like Geminis feel this need to constantly be on the phone with people. So if you are the kind of person that doesn't enjoy chatting that much, do not give a Gemini your number because they will call you and they will want to talk to you for hours. For hours. Geminis, you probably were also that kid in school who got in trouble for chatting during class. As you guys probably know, many rappers are Geminis. I know this is not going to be the most popular opinion, but when I think of a Gemini, I think of Donkey from Shrek. And some of you guys are going to be like, whoa, that's really offensive. Or, you know, oh, okay, ouch, you know, burn. But like, honestly, who doesn't love the Donkey in Shrek? Like, he's funny, he expresses how he feels. He, you know, is on this ongoing adventure and he's restless. Hey, but one night only. Ah, thank you! Ah, what do you do? Oh, no. this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. And I'm sorry if that offends any of you guys that are Geminis, but I have Gemini in my chart and I can relate to that. I feel like Donkey is a good representation of a Gemini. You know something I just thought about, and this is not a fact, but another person or character that reminds me of Gemini is Harley Quinn. You never really know what you're going to get with a Gemini. It kind of depends where their mind is at and what they're thinking about. So fact number two, you guys are extremely versatile. A Gemini knows how to communicate with different people. They know how to change and morph themselves to be what every different person wants to see from them. So people feel understood when they're talking to a Gemini because a Gemini really understands the way the mind works and they really can reflect back to you how you need to hear something. The ones that are the most intelligent always get called crazy and psycho. So it kind of makes sense that everybody thinks Gemini is crazy because they are so intelligent and they're constantly moving with ideas and information and knowledge that they can't always be the person that, you know, you thought they were last week because they're onto the next new thing and because they're mutable, their vibe is always changing. You feel me? You guys are just really good at adapting to your environment. New situations don't really make you guys uncomfortable. Um, also, one thing that I really admire about Geminis is the conversation can never really get awkward with you guys because you guys know how to dance around awkwardness. So as you guys probably know, the symbol of the Gemini is resembled by the twins, which gives a very strong image of duality. And oftentimes it is that Geminis want two of everything. You guys are also very good at multitasking. You guys can be working on many different things at once. In fact, you thrive when you have many things going on at once because your mind likes to take on many different projects and be involved in many different things that stimulate the mind. Oftentimes it is that Geminis have multiple hobbies, they have multiple careers, they have multiple love interests, but sometimes when they take on too much is when you may see that dramatic side of the twin. Because you guys get bored easily, you want to taste every flavor, you want two of everything, and you know, that may be careers, that may be hobbies, that may be sports, jobs, um, love interest. You guys are very talented and you guys dabble in many different things. You probably extended yourself in many different areas that sparked your interest or sparked your passion, um, held your attention because you guys get bored easily. Um, you guys are somewhat known for leaving a trail behind of unfinished tasks. Alright, so fact number four, you guys are extremely indecisive. So due to the duality of your 
nature, you guys tend to be very indecisive because you guys can so easily see both sides of a story or both sides of the spectrum. You guys are the kind of people that really want something on Monday and then you want something completely different on Tuesday. When it comes to making decisions, it could be the smallest thing like what you're going to have for dinner or what color to get your nails done. Um, if you can't decide what color, you might just pick five different colors like me and I swear I did that because it's Gemini season and I started getting all indecisive like oh my god what I do and I couldn't pick a color and I didn't really mean to get all five colors but um, I couldn't decide and my Gemini Mars was like girl just get all five and I was like okay we'll get all five. I feel like the impulsive nature of them comes because they get a little bit frustrated that they can't decide on something and so they'll just dive into something because you know if you decide on something then you can't be indecisive about it. Alright, so fact number five, you guys are persuasive people, and you guys know this. You guys have a natural gift of persuasion. You could talk anybody into anything. You guys could sell a heart to the devil. You guys know how to persuade people into doing things that they don't even believe in, but you guys make it sound so good that somebody is like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do that and then they regret it the next day, but you guys are able to persuade anybody into anything. Your quick mind can explain, justify, and defend any action, and you guys do enjoy a good debate. You guys are not the type to be super dramatic and you don't really love to be involved in drama, although I think you guys secretly do enjoy drama. I think you guys are secretly the types that enjoy like the reality TV shows because like you love watching other people's drama but if it becomes your drama then it becomes like real life and like that's just not what you're trying to be involved in but i think you guys secretly do enjoy reality tv let me know below you guys aren't necessarily aggressive although sometimes the way you guys persuade others may seem a little bit manipulative so it's not that you guys come across as like savages like a scorpio or like a fire sign okay that was rude let me take that back. Sorry, Scorpio. I meant like a fire sign. Like you guys aren't the type to be like extra like a fire sign when they're trying to like explain or justify their, their opinion. But you guys can seem a little bit manipulative to some. Okay? To some. Not all. You guys will win any debate that you guys get into if you're debating with somebody. Like if you're debating with the Gemini, you're going to lose. So don't try because you're going to feel really silly. They are very quick-witted. And if you try to debate with the Gemini, you're going to lose. All right, so fact number six, you guys are informative people. You guys know a little bit about everything. You guys are good at presenting information to others in a way that everybody individually will be able to digest this information. You guys are really good at skimming the surface of all types of information, but you'll only dive into the depths of that information if it's something that truly interests you or something that really piques your interest or if it's something that you're really passionate about. You guys do tend to have like ADD or ADHD so sometimes you can get a little bit off topic because you have so many different ideas and points that you're trying to make but you guys really do know a lot about everything. Like if you're having a conversation with a Gemini, it's gonna be a really good conversation because they're gonna be able to talk to you about many things. You guys tend to be really good at speaking, writing, editing other people's writing and mistakes. I feel like you guys are really good at editing things. Usually Geminis are in the know of everything going on around them. They know a little bit about everything happening. Similar to a Pisces, how a Pisces will soak up other people's emotions, a Gemini will soak up information because they tend to be sponges of that mutable nature. They just soak everything up. All right, so fact number seven, you guys are restless people. You have an infinite amount of energy and like, I don't know, it just kind of feels like you guys are always on a Red Bull. And most Geminis I know don't drink a lot of coffee because they say it makes them anxious. You know, don't get me wrong, some Geminis drink coffee, obviously. You guys are so full of mental energy that you have this restless nature to you. Due to your speedy, overactive minds, you guys tend to overthink a lot. And you guys know this, you guys know you probably have a hard time to like calm your mind down. Um, a lot of Geminis I know say they have a hard time with meditation because their minds just don't allow them to like silence their thoughts. There's always something running through their mind. So when they try to get into a meditative state, they say that, you know, I just don't meditate. Like I like, I prefer to work out or I prefer to uh, read. So because they have so much going on within the mind, um, they do tend to suffer from anxiety, um, like the Pisces and the Scorpio. Um, 
and oh wait, does everybody have anxiety? Just kidding, there are some signs that deal with less anxiety than others. Aquarius have bad anxiety too, but um, we that's a whole other topic. If you guys want me to make a video about why every sign experiences anxiety, I can do that. Most Gemini's first instinct will be to hide how they're feeling, to hide their emotions, to pretend like everything's okay. However, over time, they may start to act out in very passive aggressive ways. In all seriousness, if you are a Gemini that suffers from anxiety, um, check out Blue Lace Agate. Those crystals have done wonders for me personally um, in my experiences with anxiety and calming the mind because I do have a lot of mercury energy in my chart. I used to be very skeptical of crystals and once I had like a few personal experiences with them I was like I can't unsee that, I can't unfeel that. So now I always strongly emphasize the healing properties of crystals because they truly have worked wonders for different areas in my life. Fact number eight, you guys are very unpredictable people. You really never know what you're gonna get with a Gemini and that's because they don't really know either. A Gemini is the kind of person that doesn't necessarily enjoy making plans. They would prefer to make decisions more impulsively or on the go because they like to flow. They don't really like to be held down to certain things. I've noticed that many Geminis love moving things around um, in their home space. So like if they feel like things are getting boring or if they feel like they see an area to improve something, they like to move things around the house to keep things, you know, changing. Geminis don't enjoy routine. They love change. So like growing up as a teenager, if you were a Gemini, you probably were the type of person that, you know, continuously wanted to change your room around. Didn't like the way something looked or you wanted to see if something felt better in a different position. You guys know what I'm talking about. Let me know below if you ever moved your furniture around as a child and were your parents like WTF. Because Geminis get bored easily, they will always keep things interesting, not only for those around them, but for themselves. Geminis are very moody people because they are a mutable sign. One minute you may be laughing with a Gemini and the next minute they may be like totally focused on something else and in a totally different mindset or emotion and you're just kind of like... Geminis are unpredictable, but one thing you can always count on is that they will constantly be that friend for you that's going to be very uplifting, very optimistic. They are the life of the party type. Most of them are pretty extroverted and if you are an introverted Gemini, you probably know that you have a lot going on internally. You probably feel like an introverted extrovert, if that makes sense. You guys are also so flippin' funny. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to cuss on here, so I said flippin'. You guys really know what to say to somebody to make them feel better, and more importantly, how to smile, how to laugh. Um, if you're close with a Gemini, you have a Gemini in your life, if you have a family member, a close friend, you know you can always count on your Gemini to uplift you, to bring you out of the low spirits. Fact number nine, Geminis are extremely independent people. Geminis are on a lifelong mission of exploration on their watch. So in love, it may be hard to tie down a Gemini. It may be hard to keep their attention. Geminis tend to have many love interests early on in life. Um, so like throughout high school or, you know, in college, Gemini is the kind of person that will have many interests. If you can hold their attention, if you really pique their interest, and if you really show them that, you know, they can trust you, you might be able to catch them, but like good luck with that because they're seriously on a mission to explore every option they have. And it's funny because it's really hard to get a Gemini to fall in love with you, but for some reason, everybody falls in love with the Gemini. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Comment below if that was you. Geminis really enjoy their freedom and they're not the most jealous sign in the zodiac unless they have like a Scorpio or Aries somewhere in their uh, moon or Venus. To a Gemini, a mental connection and words of affirmation are very important. Something that's very important to a Gemini is that you guys can really stimulate each other's minds. So if you guys have good conversation, that is such a turn on for a Gemini because obviously they enjoy conversation. In love, a Gemini is looking for somebody that is as quick paced as they are. And to be honest, most Geminis see others as too dull to date. They're looking for somebody that's like very eccentric and very captivating. All right, so fact number 10, and this is more of like an informative fact. <laughs> Geminis are ruled by the shoulders, the arms, the hands, the nervous system, and the respiratory system. You guys probably know, or growing up as children, maybe you guys had asthma, maybe you guys had 
sports-induced asthma, maybe you guys have a lot of allergies. You guys can be vulnerable to upper respiratory issues, infections, bronchitis, asthma, anything of that sort. Smoking is a big no-no for Geminis. Like, not only is smoking bad for everybody, but like, for Gemini specifically, smoking affects you even more because you guys are ruled by everything that processes the smoke. Gemini also rules the nerves and the nervous system, so you guys tend to be very excitable, and because of this, you guys tend to suffer from anxiety, like we talked about earlier. Oftentimes it is that anxiety and nervousness causes other illness to flare up for a Gemini. Um, so if you guys notice that you are prone to like eczema or rashes, upper respiratory issues, that's because you're a Gemini. Just kidding, but you know what I mean? Like you guys are ruled by like all this area. All right guys, that is all I have for you for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know below which of these 10 traits resonated with you most. Your input and opinions really matter to me, so I love to hear back from you guys. If you guys are interested in booking a personal or private reading with me, all the information will be below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.